Over the last few weeks, a row has brewed over the legality of Speaker Rebecca Kadaga's decision to extend the tenure of the leadership of Parliament's Committee on Commissions, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises, COSASI. Hello, members. I welcome you to this afternoon's sitting. The Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, has maintained her position to have Bugweri County Member of Parliament, Abdu Katuntu, serve until the end of the committee's probe into the closure of several commercial banks by Bank of Uganda. Kadaga has explained that changing the committee's leadership now might jeopardize the conclusion of the bank's probe. The other committees will expire on the 13th of January, but I asked them to complete that report, and I said, give us... In the end, like event that they don't finish, end of February. After that, the changes will come. This comes despite objections from the leader of opposition, Betty Awolo Chan, who wants new leadership led by Kawempe South Member of Parliament, Mubarak Munyagwa, to take over the committee. Uh -huh. According to legal experts, the Speaker has the power to effect an extension of the tenure of any committee. Simon Peter Chinobe, the president of Uganda Law Society, says the speaker has all these powers as an administrative parliament. To enlarge the time of a committee to complete a particular task. Mm. And uh, I think that's what she did. Uh, the time for this committee was enlarged to complete the investigations into Bank of Uganda. Mm. However, Chinobe maintains that the tug of war between the Speaker and the leader of opposition over Kosasa leadership is not a legal or procedural issue, but a matter of politics. Uh, the majority opposition party, FDC, that has had uh, internal issues recently, and I think it feels uh, it needs to assert its authority uh, uh, as a means of uh, showing that they are still in control. Constitutional lawyer Wandera Ogalo says though the speaker might have exercised the powers in, in calling for an extension of Kosasa leadership, the current standoff between the opposition could have been avoided if she had consulted with the leader of opposition to align their divergent positions. The speaker would have to call uh, the leader of opposition and say, well, our rules say this, but you know in practice what we have always done when a few days are remaining, we normally extend. Do you agree to extension? If the leader of opposition agrees, so be it. It is extended. If she doesn't, then you just have to go back to the rules. Bank of Uganda probe highlights irregularities in the central bank's closure and sale of commercial banks since 1993. The banks included Tefe Bank, International Credit Bank Limited, Greenland Bank, the Cooperative Bank, National Bank of Commerce, Global Trust Bank and Crane Bank.